Good morning, everyone. I'm Billy Hackinson. I'm representing Gavite. I work as a flight attendant and I've been flying for four years now. I am a dog person. I love to cook. I love staying at home. And I'm a bisexual and I'm proud to be here. It's the coffee, it helps. <laughs> I think my favorite Tagalog word would be kamusta. It shows concern. It shows that you really want to know something about the person, especially how the person is. And usually the reply is also kamusta. It reciprocates and the care is there. It is a legit communication between two people. That, uh, learning experience that you had as a child that made so much impact? I think if it's about lesson, it's a um, lesson of being forgiving. It's something that I can carry out all throughout my life because keeping grudges in you is uh, going to impact you more as a person instead of the other person that you're mad about. You have to be forgiving about everything and I think it has to start from as early as a child. Because you have to bring it with you all throughout your life, and you have to be able to share this to everyone as well. What about in this pandemic? What do you think is the biggest lesson that you learned? That we have to ask for help. That there's, there should be no shame in asking for help. And I experienced this especially with this journey, because I live alone in Cebu. That's where I, uh, I'm based. And that altruism is actually still evident in the world today. That cooperation is actually the key in challenges such as this. If you win the Miss Universe crown, how will you help your community? If it's in Cavite, I already started a, a, a few organizations. It's not really me who started it, but I've been a part of it. And um, I'm going to be perfectly honest, I've been working for four years now, and I have been trying to support my family, and I haven't been um, really in-depth in terms of helping the community. But I would want to start doing so with the help of the Miss Universe organization. What color do you think symbolizes the phenomenon warm? Chartreuse. <laughs> Green na lang. <laughs> Green na lang. <laughs> it's a very uh, hard color to pull off, but I think uh, with the right level of confidence, I can do it. Kabite has a very soft spot in my heart. Oh. So, but um, I think I, I, I grew up there or some, or, or my family's from Kabite. But uh, if you have to name one spot, whether it's man-made or natural, that you'd like to promote to the world, what spot in Kabite would it be? Hmm. I think the pineapple farms of Silang Kabite. That's where I grew up. So going to school, going back home, I always pass by that. And... The farmers there are really, really nice. We have a Sari Sari store, and they would bring pineapples every morning if they can. And I love the sour ones especially, the ones that are not yet hinog. And I think that needs more promotion. That needs more, um, it can be promoted further. You can do other stuff with pineapples. We can make fabrics out of it, but it's not exposed. There's also a lot of people doing work from home now. Yes. So. What do you think are the skills that, that's needed in this so-called uh, workplace of the future? I think charisma and confidence is something that transcends the screen. It is something that you can um, show to everyone, even with the barrier of internet connection, technology, and screen. But I have to admit, something that's lacking is still warmth. And I think we have to work on that more. We have to translate it to people that we are still warm, that we are still loving, even if we're miles apart, even if I'm not there to physically support you, my warmth and my heart is still there. And I think that is something that we can really practice, especially us Filipinos, that we are really, really warm people. There's a campaign to hashtag love local. Mm. So what local products do you want to promote or and why? Pineapple spelling. Um, maybe that's one, but since I love to cook, siguro Filipino food. I don't know why, but Filipino food is very diverse, but it's not really well known. We have Vietnamese food, we have pho, we have a lot of Asian food, but Filipino food is not really up there. So probably sisig. We have adobo, who is actually kind of Spanish, but we made a twist on it. We have sinigang, who is authentically Filipino. So I think 
that would be the first one because a way to someone's heart is always through their stomach, especially for me. <laughs> The last question is, what is one thing you think young people should focus on? I think they should focus on being more self-aware. They have been looking outside through their phones, comparing themselves with other people, when in fact they haven't really looked inside yet. They haven't observed and appreciated their strengths, their power, their weaknesses, what um, things they have to improve on. They've been so focused on molding themselves into packages of beauty and standards and hypes. I think they have to be more self-aware of themselves. They have to look deep within them. Find that motivation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's full moon. Everyone who supports you, what about people who inspire you? Do you think they will look at you and say, hmm, I'm proud of this person right now? I certainly hope so. But apart from that, I'm, also, I'm mostly trying to impress myself, first of all, because you cannot give something that you don't have.